Hi, my name is John Garfield. This is the Releasing Kings newsletter. It's March 2nd, um, 2019. The uh, online heart plan, plan is off and running. Talked a lot to people about it. We'll uh, kick it off formally toward the end of March, probably the 22nd or the 29th. So we'll have a weekly webinar at that time to go with each of the modules. It'll last, I don't know, six, eight weeks, something like that. Um, so there's a link in the newsletter to let you know all about that. This newsletter came from um, a TED Talk by Nadia, who is from Kazakhstan, <laughs> and I can't pronounce her last name, but uh, that's worth looking at. So we're talking about learning to pivot, which is uh, one of the thing, one of the important things about the Heart Plan is that uh, learning to be flexible and adopt to change is uh, one of the secrets of uh, the kingdom and business, for that matter. So here's the bad news. 20% of small businesses fail in their first year, 30% of small businesses fail in their second year, and 50% of small businesses fail after five years in business. 89% of the Fortune 500 companies that existed in 1955 are gone today. 50% of the S&P 500 companies in America will be gone in the next 10 years. All those companies represent personal dreams that failed. <laughs> so here's some good news. The balancing fact is that those of those startups that succeeded, two-thirds report drastically changing their plans along the way. Mid-course corrections must be built into our lives, our heart plans, and our businesses. Just like the heart plan, your business plan will be uh, adjusted as you go. So wisdom is having the flexibility and a plan to engage outside inputs and incorporate the best ideas. Flexibility, transparency, and friends are a key that unlock your heart, your life, and your business. And uh, I wanna suggest that is the goal of the, of the heart plan. So let's talk about a welcome change, welcoming change, in fact. <laughs> I'm sure you've heard all those st statistics that I just went through before. One of the advantages of the online heart plan is that exploring the desires of your heart puts you in a posture to welcome change. If I'm inviting change to come into life, I'm also proactively exploring the options ahead of the change. Uh, I'm not waiting for a surprise. And if I'm inviting uh, change to come into my life, I, I'm expecting something good to come out of it. So we can't predict circumstances of our future. The present reality is that you and I will make a major change every seven years. That fact translates to that uh, what we're doing now will grow for about three years and decline in the next three years unless we have a plan to pivot or make some changes. Our minds usually perceive change as failure when it's really a course correction toward a promotion. When we look back on it, our passions, our purpose, and our basic design, our DNA didn't change, but our assignment did. And we ended up in a different job or a different business or we built a wing onto uh, our lives in some new way. So at the time, it felt like death, but uh, only our minds changed. What was written in our hearts now has an even bigger stage. So God has, has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and a sound mind. So welcome change. Uh, nothing unblocks old mindsets and frees the heart like failure. <laughs> so broken, uh, having a broken spirit is the fragrance of blessing, and it is the experience of resurrection. So learning to pivot and find the promotion in your defeat is one of the keys to learning to prosper in the kingdom. So I want to invite you to join the tribe. Many of the people I've talked to are open to uh, going through the heart plan for that very reason. They've already tasted failure, and there is a, a brand new flexibility in them to consider change. So why wouldn't I pivot and adopt to change? You know, what's going on with that? <clears throat> well, it's uncomfortable and it threatens our identity for one thing. A form of arrogance sets in on all of us uh, and it's really a mask for insecurity. And it says, I'll never have to change. And we have all experienced the, the paralysis of the spirit of fear. We've all experienced the shame of setbacks. And if I choose not to change and make mid-course corrections, I just bought a ticket on the Titanic because the sea of life is full of icebergs. 
and we can't blame the icebergs <laughs> they're just there and and titans do sink regularly in fact all those fortune 500 companies um, so believers with the plan in their hearts resurrect and if their ship sinks they grab a plank and swim to shore so let me show you what humility sounds like someday soon i'm doing what i'm doing now won't work anymore and i'll do something different it'll be something better it'll be something smarter and i already have some ideas on what that might be they're written down in my heart plan and i want to invite you to join the tribe of people that uh, are going to go through that some already are it's not dripped it's already available so you can start it and work it at your home pace so what if I'm not feeling welcomed by people? Change is not just an iceberg. Circumstances are like inanimate objects we have to dodge. But what if my earth-shaking change comes from in the form of a person who represents conflict and pain? Guess what? We can't change other people. They're just like icebergs. <laughs> we own the responsibility and we have the freedom to work around people problems just like circumstances. Neither can define us, neither can steal our future. We make a plan that solves not only the problem, but adds new value to our lives and to others. We are never victims. If we receive curses instead of welcome from other people, we just shake the dust off and move on to those who do receive us and love us. P.S. Don't be surprised if that happens to you. I'm sure at some level it already has. Um, I love Joseph's statement from Genesis chapter 50 verse 20 you meant it for evil but God meant it for good so God can resurrect people problems just like circumstantial problems so the reality is change is coming there's a little logic diagram in the newsletter that I want you to take a look at uh, watch that TED talk by uh, Nadia how to kill your own company <laughs> it's uh, the way you do that is don't change um, and also the first four modules of the online heart plan are free there's a link in the newsletter where you can log on and, and watch those that will give you a flavor uh, as to whether um, that online heart plan course is a fit or not and if you know um, that you want that's something you want to do you can log in and get started right now it's all available have a great week uh, god bless we will uh, chat soon